All right, so basically this is a follow-up video from the Vanguard settings video from the other day and Kernil, the owner of Sense Quality, actually found a way to completely disable the sun in Vanguard as well as a super easy way to boost your frames massively if you have an AMD CPU. So I'm going to show you guys all that here. So it's pretty simple. We're just going to click our folder down here. We're just going to open up our files and then we're going to go to our documents right here and then we are going to find the Call of Duty Vanguard public beta. Double click that. You're going to see players beta and then you're going to see this adv underscore options dot nii file we're going to double click on that now before we go through all this i should probably note that this took me a little bit to get working and the way i was able to fix it was by deleting this adv underscore options file which by deleting this file will reset your graphics settings if this doesn't end up working for you first try try deleting this file open up your game get all your graphics settings set back to what they were and then come back and open this file and try it again the first thing i'm going to show you guys is the super easy fps boost i got a hundred plus frames from this actually more than a hundred plus frames from this i'm averaging close to 300 fps now with the lows at 250 and the highs up to 350 it's just insane what changing this can do but basically you're just going to hit control f when you're in your notepad here and you are going to type in amd and as i mentioned this is only for people with amd cpus unfortunately removing the sun from the game will actually be for anyone so don't worry about that but you're going to see this pop up here it's going to say enable amd fidelity fx super resolution now by default it's going to say off right here and what i'm going to want you to do is just completely erase that in between the quotation marks make sure the quotation marks stay here and then you're going to type this out exactly as i have it here saying amd space fsr space 1.0 make sure you have that typed exactly as i have it typed here and then right underneath that you're going to see where it says amd fidelity fx super resolution quality and again in the quotation marks i forget what it says right here i think it has it off as well but you're going to want to change it to say balanced right here and after you're done with that just go up to file and then save and then I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of the sun in the game, which is actually crazy. So basically, you're going to hit control F again to search for something. We are going to type in pixel right here, just like I have it, and then click find next. And sometimes you're going to get this error that pops up where it says cannot find whatever word you typed in. So just click OK and then cancel out of that. And then what you're going to want to do is make sure your file is saved and then you're going to close out of the file and then just reopen it again. And then you can do control F and then you can type in pixel, find next, and it'll work again. I don't know why that bugs out like that, but it just happens. But after you type in pixel there, you're going to see it go down to here where it says pixel per light map texel. And you're going to want to change this number to one right here. Again, don't delete the quotation marks, leave the number inside the quotation marks. And then again, we're going to click control F and then we are going to type in particle lighting and you're going to see this right here it says particle lighting quality and it'll say particle lighting right underneath that and then again we're going to change this number to zero that is inside the quotation marks and then once you are done with that one we are going to go back into control f and we are going to type in cache spot and again i got that error so like i said before just click ok click cancel file save it close it and then you can just open it back up and you will be able to click control F again and click find next and it'll pop it up right there. And again, we are searching for cache spot and it'll take you to here where it says use cache spot shadow, which is kind of funny. They have it spelt wrong in there and then it'll say cache spot shadow right here in equals. And you're going to want to type in disabled right here. Underneath that, you're going to see it says cache spot size. So you're going to want to also change this to zero as well. And underneath the cache spot size, you're going to see use Use cache sun shadow you're gonna want to change this number to zero as well again once you're done with that make sure you're just saving it so file save as and you can close out of it and the sun should be completely disabled and if you have an amd cpu you just got a massive massive frame boost and as you can tell by all these clips that are up on screen here i went into some spots where the sun is just completely terrible uh, in the game and as you can tell the sun is 
basically non-existent. I mean, if you've played this game, you know how the sun looks on some of these maps. You literally can't see when you're looking at it. It's just like a bright, just colorful circle. And this completely eliminates it. And I'm just mind blown that we can just go into the game files and change a few things and it just completely fixes it for us. I hope this video helped you guys out. And if it did, please drop a like and subscribe if you're new here. I'd really appreciate that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Here's the web. Peace.